Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Uriah from Xbit Music and today we are going to talk about MIDI, how to route our MIDI, how to select multiple outputs, how to edit with the MIDI and how to use our VST instrument and uh, get the best out of it. Coming up. Let's get straight into the keyboard session. Okay, so let's say this is our piano session and uh, we really want to work on it and, uh, and also want to route individual outputs for our, our instrument by using just one VST plugin. Let's assume that um, you've got Helion um, and that is what you want to use for your keyboards and you like to assign it to different outputs. Okay, so the very first thing you have to do is um, you click on the track as in the track you want to the, the midi track in my case i've already played the midi so um, it's here as you can see in your shots it's already here so what you do is you just click on it and uh, and in this section you should get um the helion popping up over here so let's say i've got kalimba as my my output uh, my channel one and uh, channel two three to like channel six okay so one thing we have to take notice um, in my case I always like to arrange my channels according to my output so one is equal to output one in the VST instrument channel two is also equal to output two in the VST instrument and uh, you can follow that sequence and you are good to go so the very first thing you have to do is you open your helion um, and then in this case I've already selected you can select the tone by just clicking on this section and choosing whatever tone you want so there's a kalimba and uh, in this section you see there is a main here when you hover on it you're going to get output so when you click on it uh, that, that is where you get your output the main is output one output two three four five six seven eight nine ten you know up to like 16 because that's uh the v this vst instrument supports 16 outputs okay and what you also have to do is always make sure that um, this channel is linked to the output so let's say channel one is equal to output one and channel two which is electric piano when you click on it you see the electric piano should also be equal to the channel two so this is a channel two and uh do you know your piano should also be equal to channel three just like that like that um four five six is the same process you repeat for every for 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 every channel you select us and every channel represents a different tone so that you have control over the tones fine you can also control them the, the levels in the in the by using the midi but i think this is the best way to go out, to go about thing as a uh, um, as a beginner and um, learning this software you would have to you know get this, the basis uh, right and then after you can you can continue doing great greater things with it yeah so after this section activate the output on the vst instrument so let's say this is a VST instrument, this is a Helion, this is a VST instrument we have. So if you want to activate the output, what you have to do is by clicking the side, input and output options, you just click there and go and activate output. So you click on activate output and uh, you can see that I have Kalimba, I've already named it already. So you can, you can activate all the outputs should you need all the output. So you just go and activate and then it should act activate the output for you automatically just activate and then you are good to go the moment it is activated on our mixer we are going to get a lot of uh, output over here so all this output are the output of the vst instrument okay so let's say this is our e piano when we play the e piano you know you know the e piano is, is playing through a different output we can just name this output as e piano piano you know you can hit change the levels over here so you have control over individual instrument now that uh, channel three was i think is a dino yeah it's a dino e piano yeah so the channel three is our, uh, it's our dino e piano and uh the moment we come here we can also name it and say Dino, say Dino. We can also change the color of it, um, you know, to make it distinct. We can change the color by choosing this purple kind of color for it, you know, and um, you are good to go. Yeah, the base is on channel six. So we'd have to select 
uh, output six for the base and since we've activated all the outputs we are good to go so the moment we mute the dino we are out you can just mute it by muting it here on the mixer and you can also go to okay so in this case you can see there are two things playing through this channel there is a bass and also there is a, um, a kalimba also playing so we can just separate them by clicking on the midi on the midi and the, and then selecting output one for the kalimba and for for our nylon guitar or let's say we select output five for it so we are going to select the output six for it to be able to separate um, our MIDI instruments, you know, so we have full control over them, apply effects, you know, do a lot of things with, with them. In this case, you can apply effect to every individual instrument, you know, you can compress it, do everything you want to do with it, you know, and that's the main reason why um, I'd like you to have your MIDI routed this way. It's very simple. It keeps the work very simple and, you know, when you're exporting track out also, it's very, very simple for you. You can boost some highs, you know, anything you really want to do with it is very possible to do but the moment it plays through one particular stereo track that, that means you're going to get like five or six instruments playing through one stereo track and in this case you don't have control over it and um, you are going to end up getting a very bad mix and i think it's a, it's a good advice for starting with cubase you know you have to get things right from the scratch and uh, i think you 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 get to the top thanks a lot for watching this tutorial